So we got a little bit of a problem, all right? And when I say little, I mean just a teensy winty little bit of a problem. So as you can see, I am very close to hitting starter three. When I say very close, I mean close enough. I, I don't give a shit. I'm close enough to it. And I can't wait to hit it because you get the plus five cat breakers. And for my point guard build, I wanted to have a 99.3. So I did everything that you need to make sure that I can do that. Here you have the build. Overall, a nice, smooth, build but there's one problem if you see it hey shout out to you because you ain't fuck up like i fucked up but if you don't see it let's go over here to this agility you see that it says 80 in order to get shifty shooter on legend you need one a 99.3 which my cat breaker would do but if you scroll down shifty shooter ain't go up at all because you need at least a 60 agility to get bronze now you start to see it go up now it's at silver you keep going up set gold i get shifty shooter on hall of fame but you need an 82 agility to get that so that's the problem yeah i could get the max plus one and put it on shifty shooter to get it to legend but i already use it for my speed with ball because i have a 91 speed and i put the max plus one on that so then it could be legend yeah i could just keep on repping up and get my shit higher and higher to the point to where i get my next set of cat breakers but i already had it set as what i was going to put next for that one so it kind of messes it up a little bit in a way in a way is it anything crazy no it's not it, it is what it is but i don't really plan on hitting these cat breakers too much you feel me this one was probably going to be it i like this game i don't like this game that fucking much so the fact that i get a 99.3 everything else legend except for this lonely ass motherfucker right here so that made me think hmm should i remake the build and that's what i did i started to remake the build and just make it just a tiny bit better then i just started doing shit and in the process of me doing some shit i think i done created some shit that works best for me and i want you guys' opinion on it to see whether or not i should actually do it or not first five nine there's a lot of people in this motherfucker that like the five nines that don't like the five nines i understand that they are way more sweet than everybody else but motherfuckers think that my six two is sweet but if you've seen i have had a 59 block and a 65 interior i've got blocks i done seen my dude get some blocks that i didn't even know he could fucking do i didn't even know he was acting like that you know what i'm saying and it's funny because people don't expect it now if they are a slash and pg you might not be able to stop that respectfully but as i said this ain't a defensive build it's just to stop people from bullying you so i feel like if i can implement that then the build will be a little bit better and then you want to max out the weight to get that 73 strength and the wingspan i make it as high as i can possibly make it but still make sure that my max potential for the three point is a 99 so six one is it we're gonna start off with with three point as i said whenever i get my cat breakers 99 three off rip 99 free throw you get potentially a 99 mid range but i'll talk more on that later the ball handle a 96 you get hall of fame ankle assassin handles for days and unpluckable very good on my point guard I only have it at like a 94 so already it's a little bit better in that aspect i would go 97 for the handles for days but that motherfucker costs way too much just to go up one and you can do way more more with the build than you would be able to with that 97 pass accuracy i have an 89 pass accuracy on my current point guard build it works perfectly fine for me you get the tyrese halliburton pass style it works beautiful only thing that i wish is that i would get the hall of fame dimer which you can and also the bailout silver but you can do a lot more with the build by just having it at an 89 your speed with ball on my current point guard i have a 91 speed with ball and i use my max plus one to get legend lightning launch but why would you want to use the max plus one when you could just go up to a 90 fucking four i don't have to worry about that shit i don't sacrifice anything by putting it up there your perimeter you can i ain't gonna say everybody should you can try to make this build be somewhat of a lockdown i've seen somebody have a 5.9 with a 99 perimeter funniest shit i ever seen i ain't gonna say that you can be the primary lockdown on your team but you can if you want to me i did not really plan on it nor did i really want to but i like to know that i can if it needs be you feel me so i went with an 87 perimeter defense what for off ball pass hall of fame i think that will work very well especially because i am a 
lot shorter. I'm hoping that it bumps them enough for them to not be able to backdoor me. Will they still be able to? I don't know. But if that is the case, then I can play defense on the point guard. But if you really want, you could put it up to a 92. You could get gold challenger, on ball menace, and gold pick dodger. And you can be the lockdown for your team. I just want to be able to guard if I had to. You feel me? I don't want to be a liability on a team, even though I'm already a fucking liability on the fucking team. If you're going to be 5'9", you have to have a high steal. I went a 94 for a Hall of Fame interceptor. And I had this in mind. If I get my next set of cat breakers, 99 steal. Legend interceptor and glove? Come on now. That's that's dangerous. That's a dangerous duo. It's not like I'm just a straight up liability in that motherfucker. Your speed, it already went up with my speed with ball. So 89, cool. Agility. As I said, I fucked up with that damn 80 agility. So we at least going 82 off the rip. But I decided to put that thing up to an 85 for now. Your strength, max it out to get strong handle gold. And also, primarily the reason as to why I wanted strength on it was just to get physical finisher. Since I did not plan on getting any dunk. Only thing that I need for that is a 67. Your block, max it out. Your interior defense, max it out. I ain't gonna say I'm getting blocks like my 6'2 get blocks. I'd be surprised whenever the fuck he get blocks. But I'm telling you this right now. If this motherfucker is able to get stops occasionally, like my current PG does, that's the only thing I need. As long as he can get steals, way better than my current PG. And as long as he can get blocks occasionally, like my PG does, I'm perfectly fine with it. And then the driving layup. I put it to 85 for layup mix master on silver. If I do take my ass down there for whatever motherfucking reason, I have a good, good chance at making a fucking layup. And then my agility, put that thing to an 87. Just so I can move. I'm already small as hell. So it's only right to be the fastest on the court. If you're going to be that short, you have to be fast. Like you have to. But there's lockdowns that probably got like a 90 speed or an 85 agility. But you need to be faster than them. And then bam, that's it. So let me know if these five nines is really like that. I'm pretty sure there's five nines that have 99 steel. I really only care about getting to the lanes. If my five nine could get into the lanes, that's the only thing that I really cared about. But if I get bump steals, I get bump steals. I'm not really that pressed over it. And I feel like having a 94 steel and Hall of Fame interceptor, it will work out. And you can also potentially get a 99 mid range and a 99 layup. Your takeovers. This is is the takeover that I unlock on my current point guard. And he gets a 99 mid range whenever my takeover goes to level five. So imagine it with the legend badges. I only have gold right now. 99.3, potential 99 mid range. I never really have to lay the fucking ball up at that damn point. It's already going crazy. And I only have gold badges. So I only can imagine whenever the fuck I get legend, what the fuck this motherfucker gonna be acting like. And then also the potential 99 driving layup. Layup guru. Potentially getting a 99 driving layup, bro. Oh, I'm on straight bullshit. You feel me? Just straight bullshit. Now, how would this build stack up against comp? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they will find a way to expose this build. But my job is to make sure that they cannot expose the build as easy. If you try to pass it in my direction, I have Hall of Fame Interceptor. And I like my odds with it as far as right now. This is just going off of what I see and what I think that the badge will do. Only one way to find out and that is to take the build to a 5v5 setting and see how it stacks up against the 6-3s, the 6-2s. This is a pick and roll pick and pop build there is no isoing on this build but if you do iso that layup will potentially come in handy the 85 and then you put the takeover to get the layup guru and then have a 99 driving layup you could iso it would be nasty but you could and the thing is about me i have no problem finding that motherfucker out bro because i'm curious so i'm curious to see if this 99 driving layup will actually go crazy on a 5-9 isoing i will be the motherfucker to try that shit that's the sad part so let me know if you want to see it because i'm trying to tell you it's a 90 percent chance that i make this build that you see right here if there is anything that you see that could need some tweaks or maybe this build is just a crazy ass fantasy this shit will never motherfucking work let me know bro let me know i want to know your opinions because this motherfucker is looking dangerous i'll catch you on the next one yes sir